I've, uh, I've done a couple of blogs about this, but um, I've figured out a way how to get something to happen faster. And what I'm talking about is um, that integration that runs when I create a Microsoft team for my OneNote to my planner to show so that I pick it. So if I create a new team and uh, I'm going to call this a um, new team and delete again so that I'll remember how to do this. And I'm going to just go next and uh, I'm going to add Brom, my faithful intern sheep. I'm going to add him and then I'm going to just close this. So when this team is created, um, what um, I've spoken about before is that when we then go and add OneNote and add Planner, be very careful if it's not your intention to, um, to accidentally create a new plan or a new OneNote, like I said, if it's not your intention. So if I had to go OneNote here now, it just won't show my OneNote yet. And what um, I've explained before is that you can go to the site and get the link to it, right? So there's, uh, there's those OneNotes and um, it's not showing um, the new OneNote yet. And the same is going to be for Planner. So if I go to Planner, I'm also not going to be able to select the existing plan. So as I said, if it's not um, your purpose to uh, or focus to create a new one, then you want to actually link to the existing one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, um, to myoffice.com, to my portal. just want to bring this across. There we go. And in my portal, after I've created the team, I'm going to go to Planner. And uh, let's just uh, go select all. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select Planner. So I've just created that new team, right? And I want to actually select the new team. <laughs> so if I go to all plans, let's have a look and see if that uh, new team must be deleted soon. Oh, there we go. It's already showing there. So if I go new team, delete it again. There's my planner for it. So now you'll see that if I go back to this Microsoft team that I just created and I click on add planner, just give that a moment. It immediately allows me to then go and select that new plan. So how did I get that integration to just very, very quickly be, um, be there for me so that I could pick it as I just went to office.com and I opened the plan. Now, the same would be for, um, for the OneNote, as mentioned before. So if I go to Files and I open the site behind this team in SharePoint. So I open in SharePoint. I'm going to give that a moment to come across. So what happens is what I explained before is that you can go to the OneNote, open it, and then copy the link. But what I've noticed is that if I at least just open it, so once this OneNote is opened, I should be able to select it from uh, from my Microsoft team. So let's uh, see. Let's prove my theory wrong. All right, and uh, browse. Oh, new team delete again. Voila! That's definitely going to make things easier. So if that integration just doesn't run fast enough for you, um, open it in the portal. Open the planner, and then go to the SharePoint site and just open OneNote. You don't even have to copy the link. Just open those physical apps, and then come back to the team, and you'll be able to add it. What I then normally do is I'll just rename this and I'll say, hey, this is my planner because that's a bit confusing, isn't it? And then I'll rename this and say, hey, this is my OneNote. So there's a very quickly uh, a way for when you create teams to immediately be able to add that planner and that OneNote so that you don't accidentally go and create a new one. As mentioned, of course, you can have new ones on it as well, but you don't want to be confused with a plan it must use and you don't want duplicates in the in the portal. So that's, uh, that's your quick tip for today and that uh, I really, really hope that it saves you a lot of time.